Hi, I am Cantagian, and this is the response video to the Q&A that I had last week. Uh, a lot of you answered all the questions I asked, so thank you for that. I tried to reply to every single one of y'all. I think I didn't miss anyone. Um, and several of you asked me questions, so I'm going to answer them right now. Um, so first and foremost, I'm going to answer the questions that I asked you guys. First one, what is your favorite color? Um, it was Raul that made the uh, reference to, uh, oh god, what was it? Monty Python. Uh, so... It's very astute there. I knew someone was going to make it. My favorite color is emerald green. Um, I, 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 I have a very specific shade that I like. It's like a darker but shinyish shade of it. Um, but in general, greens make me happy. I've always loved green. Um, favorite video game of all time. You know, in my day, I have played tons of good video games. But all, I have to say, one of my all-time favorites that I always go back to is Final Fantasy 6. Um, I liked Final Fantasy ever since I started playing Mystic Quest when I was a child, but when I blew... Oh my goodness. When I played Final Fantasy 6, it blew me away. Um, the graphics at the time were amazing. The story, it has more depth than I'd ever thought possible from one such game. I mean, because even 4 and 5, they were pretty basic stories, very clear-cut good guys and bad guys, and, you know... Before the Dark Knight, there was nothing like Kefka in terms of a villain. I mean, yes, he was a clown, but he was absolutely insane and unpredictable and hilarious. And and that made the game so much more awesome than it would have been if he was just some generic cookie-cutter bad guy. Final Fantasy VI was amazing, but, you know, runners-up, Dark Souls, obviously. That game is something I'll never forget. Mass Effect series, uh, the Mass Effect 2, actually, is fantastic. I have not played 1 or 3. Um... Fantasy Star 4 for the Sega Genesis is also one of the best RPGs I've ever played. Very, very, very good game. Um, favorite YouTubers? I really, really, really like Hank Green. Um, he has channels like SciShow and him and his brother John Green do Vlog Brothers. I always find those very entertaining, um, and educational. I love watching them. Uh, favorite gamer on YouTube for me would prob well... Markiplier, hands down. Um, he was one of the reasons I got into doing this. Um, and as for a superpower, I don't honestly know. I, I mean, teleportation slash instant transmission from DBZ, lol, would be one of my favorites. But in terms of other superpowers, like, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind being immortal. But you, with that, you have to be kind of careful, too, because you can be immortal but not indestructible or have any power so you could be thrown to the bottom of the ocean and never die and it you know i don't know but the 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 ability to go anywhere at any time would be absolutely fantastic of a superpower to have um or even just to fly at very high speeds i, I like the idea of traveling at a whim to anywhere i want to go um that said here are some questions you guys have asked me what is the worst video game i've ever played asked by russell that is a tough one you know honestly I, I guess my mind blocks out bad games because i had a very hard time thinking of them and um one of them actually is an unfinished game let me just load up steam here because i don't remember the damn name of it that's how bad i am with these but like i'm trying to think like as a youth i didn't real. i hated ogre battle because i couldn't micromanage and when you send in your armies they do their own thing and i always thought their decisions were stupid but it, I don't think that's a bad game. I just think I didn't like the style of having to look at the bigger picture. Um, what is it called? What is it called? Hang on with me. Hang on. Take down Red Saber. That's a pretty shitty game. It's like an alpha that you have to pay full price to get. It was gifted to me. It's awful. Oh my god. But I mean, in terms of other bad games, I really... I thought about it for a while. I couldn't come up with very many. Um, you know... Shut up, dog. <laughs> uh, I, I really couldn't come up with that many. I know there were some that I played that really stink, but like I said, my mind has blocked them out. Um, I didn't like Alan Wake, but that wasn't a horrible game. Um, freaking, uh, what is that one? Gears of War made me sick just trying to play it just because I couldn't deal with the wobbly camera. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops kind of sucked. That was like the only Call of Duty I've ever played. But I don't think any of them really qualifies as a legendarily bad game. And off the top of my head, and even after considering it for a while, I'm just not sure.
And I apologize for the, the crappy answer to that question, but I guess I've blocked it out. We'll say Shaq Fu. I've played Shaq Fu. That game sucks. <laughs> All right, next question. Um, I got two from the same person, and I can't read my own freaking writing. Van under El Undead Elvis eighty five. Um, what made me create my channel? I created it um for several reasons. A lot was happening in my life. Um, and you know, I got to the point where I was as successful as I wanted to, as I dreamed of being in high school. Like. I got a great job, a house, I don't own the house, but, you know, I rent, I didn't even think about, I didn't care about owning that much, but I could if I wanted to, you know, I was a decently successful person. And, you know, that's the point at which most people be like, well, now I could do this for 20 years, build up a retirement, and that's that. But I didn't want to just do that, and I had seen, like, the Achievement Hunter Let's Plays of Minecraft, and uh, I'd finally seen Markiplier and just other people, and... I watched what they did and I was like, I could do that. I could do that about as well as they do in some instances. And, you know, I just started doing it. Um, Granted, at, at the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. I was nervous. I didn't know how to edit videos at all. But ever since then, it's it's so fun that I dedicate tons of time to it every week and find myself getting better and better. So, I mean, I kind of just decided what the hell when I first did it. I just took it up as a hobby and here I am. Over a year later, almost a year and a half now, not quite, doing it still as a hobby, but it's finally going somewhere. Um, Undead Elvis also asks, what do I want the channel to become? I would love to someday see this tr channel have a million subscribers. I would love to see myself on a monthly basis doing some type of charity fundraiser, looking for agencies that do a great job with the funds that are brought to them, and bringing together people from YouTube for entertainment to raise money for causes and make a difference in the world. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be that successful. Even if I got 100,000 subscribers, I would be greatly impressed, and I wholly think that I have the ability, the skill, and right now the dedication to do so, because I haven't stopped, and every time I do a video, it's like, what can I do to make it better than before? Um... So I believe I can get there. But yeah, to make this a huge channel would be amazing. Now, I know a lot of people want to be YouTubers full-time, but I just don't see myself quitting my job over it. Even if I were to have a million subscribers, I'd like my job too. It, I, I, I think I can handle both, and so long as I can, I will. Um, but yeah, to, to know that I would be successful on YouTube and make an impact, a positive impact on people's lives, would be absolutely amazing. Uh, next question... The most painful injury I've ever had. I didn't write down the uh, person who asked this one, so I apologize for that. I've had some injuries. I am a klutz. I broke my nose when I was two. I have a scar. I'll get all up close so y'all can see it. It's, it's, it's a bump. I don't know if you can see it, but I broke my nose when I was two by running into a fireplace. I scarred my eye right here when I was two, running into a coffee table, and then... Uh, right here, too, I got matching scars. That was also from the fireplace. I'm a freaking idiot. I, I, I've had sprains. I've had broken bones. I was doing gymnastics in seventh grade, and I broke my big toe on my right foot. I've fallen off of motorcycles two times. Um, I had a big old hernia that I got operated on. Um, so the most painful ever. Well... I can't count the hernia and its operation because the operation, while it was ex afterwards, after the medicine wore off and I stopped flirting with the nurse that I thought was my wife, it was that potent, um, it was freaking awful. Like, just doing anything hurt, but that doesn't count because that was a surgery that was to correct a problem. I'm going to have to say that the uh, most painful injury I've ever had is probably a sprain to my right hand. I've sprained this hand more than three times. One time, I don't even... I fe it was because I fell off a motorcycle. Another time it was because I punched a box that had to be full of freaking concrete because I, bam, punched it. Like, not like a good punch, too. Like, I, my wrist didn't collapse or anything, but the box absorbed none of the force. It all went straight back into my wrist. I'm amazed I didn't break bone. But I drive stick. I also rode motorcycles at the time. I couldn't do anything. 
and it was so painful to like open a door or to sleep and there's a dog nose in my face what are you doing get down here you're supposed to be in the video later dork so just because of how much i use my hands i think spraining my right wrist was the most painful injury i've ever had um i mean i've had like road rash from falling off a motorcycle and not wearing proper gear and that hurts and itches but i mean i can avoid that and put medicine on it make it a little better but that's got to be the most painful. Good question. I liked that one. Um, when will Luna make another appearance in the video? Right freaking now. Come here. Come here. Ah, see? It's Luna. This dumb... Oh, when you knock... My, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, ah, ah. No. Damn it, dog. This dog is a bona fide murderer. She killed a bunny. Look how proud she is of it. Freaking bunny killer. Aren't you a proud bunny killer, you jerk? Get him. Get him. Get the bunny. She's shy. Big old wuss. Freaking bunny bully. So to answer that question, now, Luna was in the video. Yay. What's next? Ah. All right. All the next questions are from Emma. First one. What video game would I like to see as a movie? This is a trick question. Because every video game that's ever made into a movie, the movie sucks. Like, the best adaptations I can think of video games to movies are Silent Hill, which was okay, and the first Resident Evil, which was a good movie but didn't really closely relate to the story. That said, <laughs> if I want a, a video game that I like to be made into a movie, I have to acknowledge that the movie's gonna suck. So, uh, take down Red Saber. But no, in all seriousness, like, if it could be properly done and maybe, like, made over the span of several movies to cover all of the plot and there were good actors, like, with passion for it who actually played the video game and understand understood all the nuances, I think Final Fantasy VI would make a fantastic movie. Um, it's too bad Heath Ledger's gone because the way he played the Joker, he'd make a fantastic Kefka. Um, I would love to see that. I would pay dollars to see a movie like that um next one what sport do i dislike i love this question because the answer is all of them i hate sports i hate sports so much i live i'm i think you're from britain but i'm in america and sports are such a big deal here and i know they are there too like you guys have uh football soccer and people go nuts and i know the world cup is about to happen but like here it, like, if if a football team loses, everyone's day the next day is just awful because of it. Like, people take it too seriously, and I can't stand it. Like, oh, are you a, a, a Cubs fan or a Sox fan? Neither, I don't care. This doesn't impact my personal life in any way. That said, my very least favorite sport is American football because I can't stand it. It's stupid. I think the athletes are overpaid. I think the fans take it way too seriously, and I think it distracts people from the real problems in the world and does nothing to help these problems. Um, but I actually do have a bit of a soft spot for basketball. Um, as a kid, I lived in Chicago, and it was during the time of Michael Jordan, so there was a lot of hype around that, and, you know, it was pretty much unavoidable, so I still have a little bit of that there. I still, like, respect Michael Jordan a whole lot just because... I mean, that was a self-made man who, you know, he he knew what he wanted in life and he went and got it. So there's nothing wrong with that. And, yeah, I don't care. I don't watch basketball. I don't root for any teams. But, eh, I hate mostly all sports. I, I really, really don't get into sports. And it really stinks when you tell someone that and they still start talking to you about, like, teams and drafts. And it's like, I don't know. I play video games. I'm a nerd. <laughs> um... And the last one, favorite music. I like metal. Um, my favorite band of all time is Iron Maiden. I also really love Sabaton, but I enjoy Muse as well, too. Shut up, puppy! Muse is one of my favorite bands as well. They make a lot of excellent music. Um, but yeah, a lot, I like a lot of metal, so long as it's not too heavy. Like, when you get to the Pantera level of metal, it's just too crazy for me. Um... I like some trance as long as it's put together well, some dubstep as long as it's put together well, but deep down I'm a, I'm a metalhead. Anyway, that was all the questions. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my answer session. I hope it wasn't boring. I enjoyed doing it. 
Um, so thanks again, and uh, I'm sure sometime when we have a lot more subs, we'll do this thing over again. Alright then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi, I am Cantasian, and this is vlog number 13. Lucky 13. Um, I usually don't do vlogs in the middle of a week, but yesterday we hit a milestone, and I thought we should talk about it. And that is, we hit 100. 50 subscribers. Well, actually, technically, it was two days ago now, because it was on uh, Tuesday, May 6th. Um, and that was actually exactly one month after we hit 100 subs, uh, which happened on April 6th. 